Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode from Stud Tech. And today's episode, we're going to be doing something pretty cool. Some of you may or may not know this, but today, Monday, when I'm recording this, is actually Ector's birthday. So we need to give him a birthday present because that's only fair. I think. So let's see, what should we give Ector for his birthday? I'm thinking I'm going to give him some Enderium and a couple of these Essence Drums and even some Liquid Ender because I've got a bunch of it now. And then I think we should probably make it, put it all in a nice present. So a nice, a nice chest, if you will. Let's actually use Spruce for this because I've got more of it than I know what to do with, but we'll take eight spruce wood planks and make a chest. Now, within there, within the chisel mod, if I remember correctly, there's some really cool chests. You can chisel the chest. No, 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 you can't. Okay. Let's see. Presents. How do I make these presents? Oh, I need to dye them. Okay, well that shouldn't be too difficult. Let's find some sort of flower that makes dye. Maybe... Are there any red flowers over here? Look at the tree farm go. Look at that thing go. Man, that was such a great, great idea to come up with that project. Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing any red flowers, though. I don't really need a lot. I just kind of want a couple. Especially since I also need to dye my sheep in the factory as well. Um, let's... Can we sleep yet? No, not night yet. Come on, now. Just a couple of flowers. That's all I asked for. Is that really too much to ask? I don't think it is. Hmm. Now I can sleep, though. And we'll resume our search in the morning. Let's see. Oh, there's some blue flowers. Those will work. We'll do blue presents. I was going to do red, but blue, I'm, I'm okay with blue. Blue works as well. Let's get all of these. There we go. Yeah, that should do nicely. Okay, so let's head back to the factory. And we will take ourselves a little bit of that blue dye. There we go. And that makes a blue present chest, which is pretty awesome. Now, the other thing I'm going to want is a couple of dollies. So there's one. I really don't want to waste my diamond dolly on this. Hmm... Do I have any dollies in any of my bags? I don't know that I do. Let's... No, it wouldn't be in that bag. Let's try this one. Aha! Dollies. Okay. So then I think the other thing that we're going to get Ector is we're going to get him some wood. I think I'm going to give him from some free acacia wood. And actually, let's give him some rubber. Let's give him some rubber as well. Now, the thing with Ector is that Ector has also actually started to get into the technical mods a little bit as well. So that makes basically me and him the only two people on the server to do so. So, with that said, I figure it's a nice gift to give him some technical mods. Oh, and we should probably grab a sign so that we can tell him where the present came from. That's not a bad idea. Okay, so in we go. We're going to head to Ector's place. It's not too far, because we've got the lovely nether transportation system going right here. And we'll just kind of come around. His his uh, his new base is kind of over... The entrance to it is kind of over by my Victorian house. Uh, also over by New Spawn and over in that general direction. So we'll see it very soon. And he's been working on a, a base of his own, which is pretty awesome. He also... Uh, put in a request at Wells Tech, I believe. I think that's what he said. I haven't really checked it yet. But if that's the case, then I'll have to be 
I'll have to uh, do a little video with Hector in the near future. Uh, oh, did I go right past it? No, here it is. So Hector's base is right over here, also right near the Wither, uh, the Wither Skeleton Farm, where I died last time. Or the last time, or where, where the location of my last death was, let's put it that way. So, he's got an Iron Golem Farm going over here. Simple vanilla farm. Gets the job done, though. And I believe his actual base is... Right here. Haha! -ha! I found it. And he's got elevators. Ooh. Getting fancy, Hector. Getting fancy. So, anyway, we'll leave the present. I'm thinking... We'll leave the present right... Let's see, you come in the door there. Let's put it right here. Oh. And we want to make sure that doesn't connect. There we go. Oh, did I mess up his stuff? There. I think that's good. Actually, let's just... Let's just be safe. Oh, it's already grabbing cobblestone. That's not what I wanted. Um... Put those in there. Anyway, uh, let's grab our stuff for Ector. And we're going to go, let's see, that there, those there. We'll put Enderium around the entire thing. Wow, I had just enough Enderium. Good, good, good. So we'll give him, let's rearrange it all like that. And then we'll put one of those there and one of those there. And then I'm going to put on a sign on top that says, Happy Birthday. Actually, let's do this. Happy Birthday, Hector. Sincerely, Wells. There we go. So, leaving him a little birthday present, which I think he will like quite a lot. Because that Enderium, that's not easy to get. The Resonant Ender isn't easy, necessarily easy to get either. And this Essence Drum, these are both full Essence Drums, which will also make life a lot easier for him. And then he's got a bunch of this rubber and stuff as well. So, that should set him up at least for quite a while. Now I gotta find that Nether Portal. Let's see. How do you get out of here? Oh, there it is. I see it. So let's go ahead and head on out. Now, I do kind of want to take a look around. Oh, not that way. I do want to take a little bit of a new spawn, uh, a little bit of a server tour as well in this episode, because honestly, the uh, the birthday present for Hector was pretty much all that I really wanted to get done in this particular episode. I'm a little short on time today, um, but there's some other stuff I want to take a look at. So let's go take a look at some of the other places on the server, and we're going to head to Scar's base, and I'll be right back. Well, I guess, um, apparently the instant you go through Scar's portal, it kills you. Um, aha. Uh -huh. I'll have to talk with Scar about that. Maybe, uh, maybe he can disable that so I can get there without dying. Um, wow. I was gonna go look. He's been telling me forever to take a look at the helicopter pad that he made, and I have yet to actually do so. And what happens? I go to look at his helicopter pad, and he kills me. That wasn't very nice. Let's grab a little bit of food. Ah. Uh, now I'm gonna have to grab another weapon or something, because I can't- I don't know if I can even get back there without getting killed. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I can't get to my tombstone. I don't know. 
There's a sword. That'll work. I'll just... I don't need much. I just... I just need a little something. Do I have any armor in here? I suppose I could just make myself some quick iron armor or something. And then we can put it up on an armor stand later. So let's see. Um, there we go. And then that. And then... There. That should be enough. So let's just craft that up real quick. Scar, I can't believe you would do that to me. Walk through the portal and get killed. Ah. Ah, I thought we were friends, Scar. I thought we were friends. I guess... I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. It's terrible. Hmm. All right. Well... I guess we'll continue on our server tour. Hey, oh, and I don't have a sleeping bag either, do I? Hmm. Well, you know what? I think I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Let's go ahead and head to new spawn. I'm going to avoid Scar's base because he killed me. That was very not nice of him. I'm very... I'm questioning our friendship right now. That was terrible. He could have at least warned me that going through... It says level 3 stud access code required. I have the highest level of stud access. The highest level. And it killed me anyway. Terrible. Hmm. Well, into new spawn we go. Let's take a look and see if anything has changed here. Uh, and actually, let's also take a look and see if anyone's bought stuff from the lumber shop. Oh, we got more emerald and diamonds. Okay. People are making use of that, it seems. We've got Studs Gun Vault, which is soon to be open, I think. We've got some guns in here. I need to get myself a gun here pretty soon. Firing range... Armor, yeah, I'm going to have to place an order for some guns here in the near future, I think. That's probably going to be a necessary, a necessary thing. Cararius' fish shop over there. And it looks like he did tear down his farm, which is good because we did, we did decide that we didn't want to have any farms with the new spawn. So I think he relocated it. Uh, I'm not sure where he relocated it to, but I'm definitely, I'm sure he'd put it somewhere else. And this is the book and quill. This is probably Ector's, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put that back until we actually have time to help him out, just, to, just so I don't forget. But, I think, guys, I am going to go ahead and wrap up this episode right here. I know it's a little shorter than normal, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And make sure you all wish Hector a happy birthday, because your birthday doesn't happen all that often. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. I hear a killer clown. We're just gonna leave. We're just gonna leave. I don't, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm in a mood to deal with killer clowns at the moment. No killer clowns for me. The other thing that we really need to get done is I really need to get some Tinker stuff going because right now I've got basically nothing.